play. Welcome back. More importantly, Spoon. Spoon, indeed. We're playing the tech. Yup. Oh, do we have to sit through? Oh. Yeah, this is completely unskippable. Of course, they gotta play the entire theme. My god, we're already off to a terrible fucking start, folks. Uh, Software creations. Yeah. Some, that logo looks familiar. Yeah, it does look familiar. I'm, I don't know where I'm familiar with it from. Oh, the tech! Hi, Patrick Warburton. How you doing? So, this is an interesting game. Um, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to set everything to maximum. Yes. Because this is the first, first time I've played this game. I, I've never played it for the Super Nintendo. Ah. I played it for the uh, the uh, Sega Genesis once at a friend's house very, very, very long time ago. Ah, the Chega, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the Jega Genesis. Chega, Chega, woo woo. Start yeah. the game. Yeah, let's just start the game. Chapter one, Night of a Million Zillion Ninjas. Oh, I, I hate it already. And uh, including that one, which apparently she only has parts of her costume. Yeah, and oh, I have to hit start. Oh. All right, we're we're on a bus, I'm getting uh, Scott Pilgrim flashbacks. Oh right. yeah, this is a this is a total beat 'em up. Yeah, I'm, st I'm getting Maximum Carnage flashbacks here too. Oh yeah, it, it's it's gonna be like Maximum Carnage too because I always sucked at these games. Look at me, I'm showing off my mighty chin. Oh. Nobody harasses the tick. All right, so this is kind of weird. That is one wide bus, the, I'll the tell you that much. The kick button is on one side, and then the punch button is on the other side, and then your jump is the button in the middle. All right, that's a little strange. And I think, I think if I hit the Y button, that's gonna call Arthur in. Ah. Yep, it does, okay. Yeah, and he knocks everybody off the screen. All right. We actually hadn't play tested this, but I did look up controls earlier, so. At least, uh, at least. Spoon. Well, that was a short level, anyways. It's good, because I was low on life. <laughs> oh, and it fills my, oh, you, you bastard. Hotel Dave. Oof. Ah. Oh. Somebody's throwing shurikens at us. And and oh. and knives and spears. Oh. Well, this is this is just a terrible development. Oh, right. Oh, how are you supposed to avoid that? Greasy hates. <laughs> All right, this is my turf, blue boy. Subplot. I look like a Power Ranger. So once again, this is actually one of those cartoons that I kind of watched as a kid, but Ow. don't remember a thing about. I, I've heard of it. I know Arthur. I know there's uh, Lady Liberty. I know there's there's a maid character. I know there's a a character that has a chair for a head. Ah. Well, so far I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah. Damn. I remember it being kind of this crappy too, so I don't I don't know if it's just extra crappy on the Super Nintendo or or whether it was this bad on the Sega Genesis as well. Okay, that one landed. Ooh. Yeah, I am getting some serious uh, Maximum Carnage vibes here. Chair, oh, chair face wants you. I assume that's the character with a chair for a head. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot, there, there was a, a bat character. I think it was Deflator Mouse? Yeah, it's Deflator Mouse. It's, it's like the only character I remember. Oh, you bastitch. Yeah, I'm just going to run around and... Uh... You know it would be awesome? A life meter. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately we don't have that luxury. 
All right. Ow. Ah! Meanwhile, Canada Jake's up there in Canada, probably laughing his ass off. It's like, we love the chick here. Actually, you know what would be the chick's ultimate enemy? Hmm. Be a possum. It probably good call, actually. Because the possums eat ticks. Oof. <sighs> this is a level that never ends. This it goes on and on, my friend. I hate that song. That's why I stopped singing it. Where is that song originally from? Because I, I, I swear, I heard it a lot as a kid, and uh, I remember like people would sing it every now and then, and I just wanted to punch the shit out of them. I don't know if, if it was the original origin or um, or it came earlier than that, but the, where I learned it from was the, uh, the song, the ending song from Lamb Chop's Play Along. That's where I thought it was from. Because I remember that at one point, uh, Charlie Horse reopens the trunk and he goes, This is the song that, and Sherry Lairs goes, Charlie Horse? No, no, stop, stop, stop. I want you to go away. Go away and don't slam the, slams the door, door. Because my brother Casey was obsessed with, ah, there we go. Uh, well, it's about goddamn time. Well, Casey was obsessed with Lamb Shop's play along. I think I mentioned that in another episode. No! Oh, Clark is the Cape Wonder. All right, so... So every time I fall in a hole, I have to fight some dumb boss? Apparently so. Um... You can just keep punching him in the nards. <laughs> oh, I get it. That great thing you picked up was kryptonite. Uh, okay. So... All right, so... Can we go down? Can we go across? Oh, we can go across. All right. Cheap and nasty. Yeah, that's uh, what I think every time I eat McDonald's. Ugh. Oh, that bird noise must, gets really annoying after a while. So, I don't get it. The first level, super, sh super, okay, there we go. Spoon. <sighs> the tick. Like I said, I didn't watch the cartoon. Is it? I just know the characters and like, like it being really like weird. I was gonna say, I remember like people really liked the tick. It was one of those cartoons either you really, really liked it or you were like, I don't get it. I think it was based off a comic book. I don't think it was. I mean, I, I don't know. Or maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Or it's making fun out of comic books. I, I don't thought know. it was making fun out of comic books, personally. Like I guess I don't really know the history. All I know is that people really like it and they try to reboot it every so often. Oh, I've got a shuriken right to the back. Yeah, I was going to say, they try to reboot it like all the time and it always fails miserably. They're like, we're going to do the tick again, but in live action. Oh dear, good big guys. Uh, oh, okay, this guy's uh, on my side. Ah. Because I know the tick is where uh, the evil bomber that bombs at midnight is from. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the evil bomber what bombs at midnight. Or, yeah. But... Because that's, that's probably one of the few exposures I've had to that show. Is... Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything you... I can do anything better than you. Oh, I hate that song, too. <laughs> this has been another episode of Bill Hates Music. <laughs> Bill Hates Childhood Songs. Let me guess. Uh, there was an old man named Michael Finnegan. You hate that one, too? I'm not even familiar with that one. Was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He had whiskers on his chin again. They fall off and then grew in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Yes, so sounds like a song I would have hated. Uh, boom, bubble, ski, nothing, tutting, and yeah, yeah, boom, 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 and me, what? Bubble, ski, nothing, bubble, ski, nothing, friso, cheese, American pizza. Any other childhood songs I remember singing on the playground that you hate? Oh, I guarantee all of them. I, <laughs> I don't like many songs. I should say, I don't like many children's songs. That's because you didn't have siblings. Well, no. Be, well, here's the thing. 
A lot of people grew up with like uh, Sesame Street and what do you mean? Um, Barney. Uh, sure. No, Bar Barney came much later. But I mean, like a lot of kids my age grew up with like Sesame Street and the Muppets and. I grew up with Muppets as well. And uh, and Lamb Chop and all that shit. Um, yeah, that's the third one. I didn't have any of that. Ooh. We uh we didn't get any of those channels. So I I don't know. I didn't have that stuff and I remember like seeing it and being kind of like, wow, this is dumb and I'm happy I don't I don't I'm happy I didn't grow up with this. About the only character I ever liked off of Sesame Street was Oscar the Grouch. Gee, I wonder why. We are almost dead. <laughs> Alright, now we're down to three lives. Yeah, I know. This is We're getting into dire straits here, folks. Well, this level is called the Night of a Million Zillion Ninjas, and it really is starting to make a lot of freaking sense. It's funny, that, as I remember, like, my parents actually... I don't remember. I think that we got it out of a magazine. It was this poster of Cookie Monster that they they tried hanging up in my room when I was like I don't know. I don't know how old I was. I, I couldn't have been probably five, maybe six. I don't know, somewhere in there. All right. But uh, I remember like I really didn't like it, and I wanted them to take it down. And they thought it was because I thought it was scary, and I was I was really pissed off about that. Cookie Monster isn't scary. <laughs> well, it was I didn't want it, because I remember I just did not like it. I, I... Oh. Aw. Well, that's <laughs> fucking lame. Don't jump off the building. I don't remember what I had against Cookie Monster, but I did not like him. Well, it was weird because uh, there was a... a meme floating around Facebook where they talk about the origin of the cookies that Cookie Monster ate on Sesame Street. And they said they couldn't use actual cookies for Cookie Monster because the oils in the cookies would ruin the fabric of the puppet. So that what they painted rice cakes to look like cookies. And everyone's like, my childhood's ruined, did you ever that? And I'm sitting here like, I was a kid, I knew that. Because the, uh, and he would, you know, oh, cookie, nom nom nom. And then he'd eat it and I would look at that and I'm like, that looks like styrofoam. But then you find out it's rice cakes, and it's just like, yeah, oh, good. It's a food that tastes like styrofoam. That is a suspiciously styrofoam-tasting food. Because I remember, you know, this around the era where this game was made. That was when rice cakes were, like, the ultimate diet food. Like, I'm going to start my diet. I'm going to live on rice cakes. and. You're that, or it was the food that you ate if you just hated food. Okay, don't jump off the building. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was weird. I had to go back to get one. Oh. The Thorn of Oblivion. Okay. Just like the tick. You never know what you're going to get. Don't jump off the building. Now how are you supposed to avoid those? The answer is you don't. Yeah, I... God, I really hate this. And I, you stay ducked for like way too fucking long. It's again on the rooftop. Uh, there we go. What the hell's up with that knife? They've got knife like bullet bills. Stand up, asshole. Come on. God damn it. And down you go. I will break you. Oh, uh, I like the look of this guy. He looks like a mega red. But he's Russian? I think that's supposed to be Gorbachev in front of him. <laughs> what the? So, and you're... Wow, that was sim- Wow! <laughs> the first one, impossible. The second one... Impossible if you remember. Tough until you get the kryptonite, and then he's like, I'm done two hits. Then we have a uh, Soviet Russia guy. Soviet Russia superhero sucks. 
and you just get him with a couple hits and then he's like, oh, beg for mercy. Hell, the freaking shurikens are more difficult than than uh, Soviet Union guy. Ow. I think that was supposed to be an analogy for the Cold War. I guess so. Where it's all like, eh, we're the Russians, we're bad. And then you and, hit oh, him. Oh yeah, well, we, had, we made it to the moon and they're like, ah, we give up. Just endless running on rooftops, apparently. Hello. Spoon. Fork. Knife. Utensil. Well, thank God that's over. Oh, uh, what sort of, what, uh... What fresh new hell awaits us now? That's what I was thinking. Um, we're on a trapeze. Oh. Oh, my. Floats to the air through the greatest of ease. He is the tick on the flying trapeze. Ah. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll continue. And we got seven lives. And apparently if we drop, we have ninjas that slice our butts. Uh, okay. Well, that Why? was unpleasant. I think that was supposed to be an electrical wire, not a tightrope. I think it was, yeah. Ah! Hey, look, it's the suburbs. Ninjas in the suburbs. Still lots of ninjas. It's, uh... It's a million zillion ninjas. Hello, it was right in the title. Oh, no, no, no. That was the first level. This is the second level. Which was called something completely forgettable. It was like End of Oblivion or something, but it's still Million Zillion Ninjas. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hi, we're just... Stuck. That Red Ninja is especially stealthy. Yeah, he looks like... Uh, he's like, hi, I uh, escaped from uh, Party City. Uh, these uh, swords are actually made of plastic. And uh, Black Ninja's like, uh, my outfit is made from garbage bags. You know what I can't stand? Me talking like this? No, ninjas. I think they're way overused. Oh yeah, especially because that's uh, not really how ninjas are. Because what I've heard about ninjas in actual times they were used, they just disguise themselves as normal people. Well, that, that's kind of the funny thing, because, like, I, I've I've looked into, like, well, I, I don't give a damn about, like, real-life ninjas. But yeah. it's funny, because, like, I, I was looking up a series of videos on, like, martial arts and the dumbassery with that. Mm. And uh, most, most uh, historians pretty much believe ninjas didn't actually exist. <laughs> It's all just bullshit made up by uh, Hollywood. Yeah, these ones certainly are. I mean, were there assassins? Yeah, there were assassins. Yeah, but like actual, you know, covert ninjas? Oh. Oh, she's oh, fighting with us. Th this is an ob obvious Electra ripoff. Yeah. It's, uh. <laughs> very, very yellow. It's like April O'Neil dressing as Electra. I need to scoop on the turtle. Which is perfect because all these ninjas were obviously ripping off Daredevil here. Yeah. That's right. Show him who's boss. Stick him with the says. Yeah, most, you know, ninja assassins sort of, you know, they just dressed up like normal people and they only did the whole con black outfits thing in order to hide in the dark. And even then that didn't happen all that often. And then Hollywood's like, yes, we're going to take this form and then we're going to make them badass and give them powers and make gazillions of movies out of it. Punched him right in the face. Whacked in the face. Oh, that's it. All of you stand in a row so I can hit you all at the same time. Perfect. 
perfect. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. Go? Sure, we'll go. Oh, well, the... <laughs> well, that, that one, that one uh, defeated itself. That guy with the dunce cap sure took himself out quick. He's like, Geronimo! Uh-oh, this time, splat! This would probably be a lot funnier if I uh, knew who what these characters were. But I'm afraid that I don't. Like I said, just shallow knowledge. The problems with these ninjas is they don't have cool names like Elmo or, or uh, <laughs> I know or Johnson. That would actually be helpful if they had like little names with health bars. Yeah, he's like, hi, I am, I'm Mad Pete. And he goes, hi, I'm Stubborn Paul. <laughs> hi, I'm Johnson. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Asshole Greg. No, <laughs> I'm gonna make up my own names for these dudes. I'm uh, Mad Pete. I'm. This is a uh, Stinky Pete. Blue Dabadi. Uh, this one over here is uh, Slicer Steve. He works at Best Buy on the weekends when he's not ninjing. And over here is Col uh, Coleslaw Carl. You know, he works at the buffet line at uh, Golden Corral. And over there is Nutshot Nick. There's uh, Dunce Dan. Yep. Yeah, I can't stick the landing. And there's uh, rubber, rubber Suit Robert. You know, he works at the Party City. And those are his brothers, Daryl, and his other brother, Daryl. <laughs> That's one for uh, all you millennials out there. Oh, dated reference for the win. Uh, how you doing? I'm, I'm uh, Shuriken Sam. This is Gimp Suit Gary. This is a uh, blue man group. Only, uh, there's only two blue men and one's black because he wore the wrong suit. Ow. Come on, guys. I gotta get stopping dizzy. Ah, uh, and there's a uh, samurai Stan. You know he bought those swords from the uh, the Chinese export store. I in thought the that mall. was Ginsu Gary. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm coming up with different names this time. This, he's a reject from the Foot Clan. Oh, god damn. They should have called this level the Night of a Million Zillion Ninjas. Oh, it's about the damn time. Yes, indeed. Ugh. Those ninjas, they're wacky. Oh, great. More ninjas. I can't wait. I sure can't. Ugh. That's exactly what we need. It just says ninja on the wall. Here, he just wants some kick and a punching. Hi, I'm Onus. Hi, I'm Omfrey. Omfrey, what kind of a name is that? I'm I don't Onus know. Wagner. Ow, ow. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. And neither was I. What the fuck? Okay, that's Vega, apparently. Alright, we got one Earther left. There is no Arthur, only Zul. Apparently we have, uh... We have the, uh, white ninja from, uh, G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes. I just remember his name, because my uh, brain is just like, no! No, he's the white ninja from Beverly Hills Ninja. Oof. <laughs> Boy, that's a movie I bet y'all for wish you forgot. That's for all your millennials. Oh no, we have no more Arthurs. It's okay. We also have no more white ninjas. I guess that's a good trade-off. Ninja. Because we're against the ninja. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh, somebody fell. Oh. You know, you know what I hated about games like this back in the day? How fucking repetitive they are? Yes. It, it, it's not that... It's not, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a challenging game because uh, they're cheap. 
Yeah, it challenges your patience. It challenges your patience uh, more than anything, I would say. It, it's just beating up the same three guys over and over and over and over again. I mean, hey, you could say the same thing about uh, Double Dragon, but I don't know. Yeah, Double Dragon had variety. It knew when to kind of switch it up a bit. Yeah. The, we've been fighting the same guys for like the last four levels. Oh, well, yeah. Or I guess this is only level three, but still. I mean, when I saw what they gave us a white ninja, I'm like, hey, a boss. But nope, he's just another mook. Yeah, I was going to say, he's about the only thing that they've changed it up with. And not by much. kind of suck. Uh, don't get me wrong. He's, he's not the... They were imposing at first, but now it's just like, nope. Hey, look, it's spay versus spay. <laughs> black versus white. The ninja's black. The ninja's white. That's what kind of pissed me off about, like, um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game uh, versus what we got on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. The arcade game was actually much shorter. The levels just weren't crazy long like they were in the uh, on the NES. Yeah. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, is, it was all for optimal quarter eating, but, uh... But you don't need quarter eating when it's a port. No, the, well, that's what kind of pissed me off about it, because that game was just so fucking hard for me when I was a kid. Because instead of, like, just having infinite continues like you would in the arcade, because, you know, money. Right. Um, instead, you got, like, a set amount of continues, and, and what happens after that? Well, you're fucked. Yep. I always thought that they should have at least been all like, all right, you know, you can have infinite continues, but we're going to keep a tally, and at the end you'll get, like, a score of how many continues you use. And, you know, tr try to beat your previous score, you know? At least yeah. make the game fucking beatable. Oh, yes. And don't get me wrong, you know, it's tough to beat that game, but hey, you know, it is one of those deals where it's all like, uh, you know... Oh, we lost our buddy. Any hey. fool with enough quarters can beat a game. You just have to be rich. Uh, me and a buddy of mine did that actually one one time when we were in college and we had adult money. Mm -hmm. We went to the one arcade in all the UP, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were all like, because they, they didn't have a lot of great stuff in there, but they did have Carnival. Oh yeah. And we were all like, you know what? Fuck it. We've got, like, lots of money. Let's go beat Carnival. <laughs> and we did. We, we God, I, I don't know how much we spent. It, it had to have been, like, 30 bucks. Um, it might have been 20 to 30 bucks a piece that we spent. But, yeah, we beat Carnival. Let's see, that would be 80 to 100 quarters. If there's four quarters and a dollar. Wow, that's a lot of fucking quarters. Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh. could pick those up? Yeah, apparently you can. Well, you picked a fine time to tell me this game. Yeah, the blue and the... the uh, or the black and the white ninja were, to, were lying down together. They were almost gray. And then there was like... the game was like, wait a minute, it's supposed to be black and white. <laughs> you can't have any gray ninjas, are you kidding? There'd be a different variety. We can't have a different variety in a game with seven million bajillion ninjas! Boss? But no, more ninjas. Hey, punk. Who, who that graffiti right there in the wall? It's punk. Ooh, stabbed in the back. What kind of friend is that? Stabbed in the back? Yeah, this is going to be a boring, boring uh, cold play. Well, we keep fighting these same enemies over and over again. Well, that's the thing. I'm bored of playing it, honestly. <laughs> I feel bad for you at home, folks. This is, uh... Oh, more black ninjas. This has got to be terrible to watch. Yeah, here we are. The oh. salad shooter slicer shredder. The not Vegas. And they're like, ooh, Vega did not have swords. He had a claw glove. Thank you very much. Shut up, Canada Jake. What do you know about ninjas? <laughs> He's like, I used to be a ninja man. 
Right. And then you took an arrow to the knee. Oh, you guys used to think, yeah, I was so excited to see you. I'm like, yeah, a different ninja. But no, it's just, nope. You're just another ninja that I know. Also for a ninja, why are you wearing all white? And Anybody can see you in public. And besides, white is a color that gets easily dirty. Yeah. What were you thinking, ninjas? Boss? Boss? No, no boss. No. Well, we get to fight a black ninja. All right, there's somebody crawling out of the... Uh, the sewer access cover hole, but then he's like, nope, this game's too boring, and they disappeared back. <laughs> yep, he's like, well, this is lame, I'm out of here. Nope, he's back. Oh. I think he's a good guy. Uh, I remember him being, like, one of the guys that hang out in the coffee. Uh, nope. oh, well, if he's a good guy, then how come he hurts me? Nope, he hurts everybody. He's like, nope. Good or bad? Nope, I don't agree with you. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, guy. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. I don't approve this game. Nope, nope, nope. Come over here and say that. That is a big ass sewer access cover, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Nope. Gotta beat all of them. Gotta beat them all. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Are you gonna tell you who you are or what you, what you uh, your role in this cartoon? Nope, nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> Bottomless ninjas. Nope. Is this level gonna stop? Nope, nope. Mm -mm. God, at least Maximum Carnage didn't have, like, a million fucking enemies. Oh, he kicked you right in the nerves. I mean, it's it was cool. tough and there was a lot of enemies, but it wasn't so fucking repetitive. Is this game fun? Nope, nope. Mm -mm. God, I remember when I played this on the Sega Genesis. It was actually pretty cool. Well, nostalgia can be a poison. Nope, nope, mm-mm. Do I get to... What's going on? Oh, oh, more ninjas! Of course! Oh, it's about oh, fucking thank time. Thank you so much. Ugh. Nope. They're never gonna stick the landing, are they? Doink, 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 doink. I only know two chords on a piano, and those are the only chords I'm gonna play. Nope, we gotta fight these guys. You can't escape through the ladder, are you kidding? That'd be the easy way out. This game isn't gonna let you take the easy way out. The tick is in purgatory. He's gotta fight the same ninjas over and over again. Then they yell, yell the catchphrase! And he's like, I don't want to yell the catchphrase. And they're like, yell the catchphrase! And he goes, ah, okay, spoon! And then all the fan, fans cheer. But until then, he's stuck in this purgatory fighting the same five ninjas over and over again. Setting right what once went wrong, hoping that the next ninja is the last ninja of the level, but it's never is. Oh. Because we are not in Quantum Leap, we are in the Tick. That's right. We're going to change up colors. Look at us. Wish you could flea flick them over the count, over the uh, the edge. They're like, nope. Oh well. Well, that that, that was a thing that existed. Now we're in the hospital, where all those ninjas probably are. The ones that we beat the shit out of. <laughs> they all have, like, concussive brain injuries and broken bones and need a few blood transfusions. To be fair, though, this is a big frickin' hallway. Also, what hospital waiting room has, you know, whole bookshelves full of books? 
Usually it's a just, good point. It's usually just like magazines from at least five or six years ago. Yeah, no kidding. You know, like highlights and good housekeeping and maybe a National Geographic if you're in a good hospital. All right, somebody called the hospital. We need a body bag. Oh, wait, we're in the hospital. We kind of do need a body bag. Uh, somebody get this game a body bag. Oh, good, more ninjas. Ah, yes. Especially, especially Mr. Impractical Swords. They're like, no, we're not actually trying to hurt you. We're chiropractors. We're trying to straighten out your back. Oh, yeah. It'd be funny, we could fling a ninja into that wheelchair. It'd be like 100 points. Alas, no. <sighs> wow, this must be a pretty quiet hospital. There's no patients. Yeah, it is. They all must either, you know, healed up or died. Nobody goes to this hospital. It's too crowded. <laughs> no, it's empty. I mean, there's a patient chart there in the back, but no patient. It must be in surgery or something. They're like, I'm not going to that hospital. That's where the tick game takes place. <laughs> Go, go to the hospital, it's full of ninjas. We can't do surgery when all these ninjas are flying around. They ain't got doctors there, just no more ninjas. <laughs> and now well, those white ninjas, those aren't swords, those are actually giant scalpels. We need those to operate. That's not white outfits, those are just uh, suits. Of, they're just wrapped in gods, they're pretending they're mummies. And the nurses are like, excuse me, can you please take this fight back to the uh, waiting room? We got, we have to uh, bring in more patients. I always thought it'd be a funny, it'd be an interesting uh, comic book arc for like, you got a character like, uh, oh, Batman, or in this case, the Tick, where you have a storyline where it turns out that, you know, he just thinks he's a crime fighter, but it turns out he's actually not. Oh. And uh, he's just crazy, and he thinks that, like, he's fighting all these ninjas in the hospital. Really? He's just beating up, like, pedestrians? <laughs> he's like, my son just got his tonsils out. No, you're an evildoer. <laughs> I'm here he's like in Batman. He thinks he's beating up the Joker. He's really just beating the hell out of mimes. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon's actually like, no, this Batman's a menace. We've got to stop him. He actually thinks he's a menace? Not, you know, he's got his secret phone and whatnot? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how you'd make that work. I thought it would be funny, though, because it'd probably be closer to reality. <laughs> yeah, we actually have a visual ante lying around, and, the, and uh, he actually thinks he's... Pe he's yeah, yeah, he thinks he's doing doers. good, but actually he's just, like, fucking shit up for everyone. <laughs> I'm just trying to cross the street. Back, evildoer! And he just, like, punches the old lady. I, I could see it. It'd be... I don't know. It's a weird concept. You know what? Playing this game has made me get to the point where I'm just rambling about nonsense. <laughs> it's liquefying your brain. You need to go to this hospital. Yeah, uh, No. <laughs> Get one of those random IV bags just lying around and the same patient chart over and over again because, you know, cut and paste. <laughs> it's welcome to Cut and Paste Hospital. How may I help you? Well, all these guys, uh, it looks like their stocks have crashed, but they're on the rebound. So things, yeah. things are improving anyways. They're not quite back to where they were, but they're not going to... They're not going to lose all the retirement fund. Yeah, the, the, the pensions took a serious hit, but they're... they're uh, they're, they're getting the rebound. You know, that, that big dip they had in the bottom, that's when they had to declare Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Yeah. But they're not quite at Chapter 7. They'll be able to afford a nice bass boat, but the yacht is the yacht is pretty much out of the question. Yeah. yeah. They're definitely not going to get the sailboat they wanted. Oh, something that isn't an asset. And we have more ninjas! Yeah, you know, they, they got to, they gotta, you know, the boat can only have two floors, not three, you know. He has to have the lower-powered engine. 
I was hoping that something would come out through those doors because it looks like an elevator. Spoon? Oh. oh what? Hey! What? Somebody different! That's not the same generic ninja over and over and over again. No, that would that one actually requires effort. Looks like a freaking anime character. He's like, hi, I'm Greg the Weeaboo. Does a lot of damage though, holy shit. He's tough to hit too. Maybe he's the vigilante we were talking about. He's the one hired to take out the tick. He's just like, I heard your guys' story and I am, uh, I'm uh, willing to volunteer because uh, I want to get you out of this game as soon as possible. Here's my business card. You may call me Greg the Weeaboo. <laughs> Knowing the tick, actually, there might have been a character. Now, I guarantee there wasn't because it was from the 90s, but I could see a character being like Greg the Weeaboo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The level seven sorcerer samurai. Yeah, they, his his real name is Greg, but his his uh, actual you know warrior name is like Oniki or something like that. You know, he's watched every single episode of Dragon Ball Z. I prefer to be called Kachai. Uh, he's got a big ass smile though. He must bleach. It's Sutichi san Yes, my sensei. They they call him Splinter. Oh, exactly what I've always kind of wanted to do to those fucking... You, you know, I've got nothing against you if you, you you like anime. Hey, you know what? I like dumb shit, too, that, like, nobody else likes. If you like it, that's great. But it's it's the douchebags that carry around swords, and they're like, I'm a samurai. Yeah, you know... Th this is just very cathartic, getting to punch him in the face. It's... Take that, Stan. <laughs> take that, Greg the Weeaboo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, your name's... Your name's Greg. Your name's Greg. Shut the fuck up. Your name's Greg. You work at a Best Buy. You've only been to Japan once, and all you did was go to the theme parks. You know what? Fuck it. I'm calling in Arthur. Oh, I can't call in Arthur. Because it's a boss fight. That's why. Wow, this guy this is, is tough because I can only get like one hit on him. And then he gets like three hits on us. Yes, Greg, I know. You've seen every ep every episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. We know. Ah! Oh, Spoon. I don't want to see your bonsai collection. <laughs> Let's go to Ninja World. Yeah, that's his brother. Guardian. That's <laughs> Greg's brother. He's like, hi, hey, where's like, Greg? Oh, he got in a fight again, didn't he? God damn it, Greg. How many times have you been kicked out of... Ninja World. Oh, I, I wonder if we're going to have to fight ninjas. Oh, yeah. Ninja World gift shop. It's full of those swords that the white ninjas have. At least they have a drink stand. You know, they probably have like some refreshing sodas. They have those Ramuna drinks that I like oh so very much. Oh, we have oh, a green one! Now we have green ninjas. With axes! Yeah, because that's what you well, do when you want to stay in the shadows. You wear bright neon slime green. Now reptiles here. Yeah, he'll spit acid in her face. Yeah, right here. I wonder what's in the Ninja World gift shop. I wonder if it's just full of those uh, full body suits. We can buy one of those and wear it like a Halloween costume. He's like, hi, I, I'm uh, Mr. Greenscreen Guy. Mm. I'm the one who I, yeah, I do the uh, the motion effects. You're supposed to be covered with ping pong balls. Uh, not today. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. I did not mean to do that. You're down to one Arthur. So they get up in here to do the uh, motion effects. Uh, you can't see me in the background because I am invisible. 
You're not invisible. You're you were just invisible because I make you green screen. Oh no, I'm invisible. I am what they call the digital ninja. Yeah, I, I, let me guess. There's gonna be a pink ninja and a purple ninja and a silver ninja. No. Not the yellow one though. The yellow one died. Yes. I don't remember what happened. Wait, actually, the blue one died, too. Didn't he? I don't remember. I thought he killed himself. I don't recall. Oh, are you talking Power Rangers? Yeah, I'm talking Power Rangers. Uh, Power Rangers, uh, the blue, the original one, the yellow ranger, that actress uh, was killed in a car accident. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, the blue one, I believe, went to prison. I thought he committed suicide. I, I can't keep track. I, I know he was gay and everyone like gave him a bunch of shit about it on yeah, the Yeah, and that's set. why he left the show. But yeah. then something bad happened to him. So either he's dead or he's in prison. One of the two. Let's see. Underworld Oddities Snack Bar. I wonder what... Uh, I wonder what they have in the snack bar. Maybe they have those uh, ice cream sandwiches that are shaped like fish. Or they have a boba tea. Or they have uh, red bean cakes. They probably have spam. Like the actual meat product. All of you are annoying. Go away. You are messing up my uniform. Oh, just go chop down a tree or something. Come on, get out of here. That's not what our axes are for. They're just decorative. We bought those at the import store, too. Hi, me again. Remember me? I used to be unique. Not so much anymore. I can see why this, this game is quite forgettable. Yeah, I mean, god damn. This game is awful. We've played this far longer than I planned on. I figured it'd just be really hard and I'd die and we'd be all like, oh yeah. Well, that happened. That was a, that was a success. Six, that, I can't even say success, it rotted my brain. Oh, this looks like a boss. Is this a boss? No, no. it's just more ninjas. Academy of Underworld Sciences. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what they have for underworld sciences. Like, is this how you build your own nuclear reactor? Or you can clone people? I, that's what it is. That's that's the true enemy of the game is the Academy of Underworld Sciences. This, that's where they, they're cloning all these ninjas. These terrible ninjas and... Yeah, they have those uh, those foot soldier factories in the Technodrome, like in the, tin, the uh, tin Ninja Turtles. But we can't use Ninja Turtles, so they like, we're gonna call it the Academy of Underworld Sciences and we're gonna clone all these ninjas. But we're not gonna tell them they're ninjas. They're just programmed to be ninjas. I remember I had an idea years ago uh, when RPG Maker was a thing. Mm. And um, I used to be really into RPG Maker. And uh, I wanted to make a game that was where you were like, oh, Ninja World Sciences, even worse. You were a uh, you were low you were a low level minion. Yeah. And you, you, you know, like the kind of guy that the hero comes and just like beats up, like one of these guys. Yeah, you know, like a ruffian or a yeah. goblin or something like that. But it, it's all about like you trying to get to the top and be become like the level boss or maybe the final boss. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it, it was kind of like, a, I'm sick of being, like, uh, the fucking peon minion. I, I want to be my own, like... I want to be my own. <laughs> start my own, you yeah. know, minion enterprise. So it's all, because I figured it's like, well, that'd be a fun deal, because, you like, in those games, you level up and all that stuff. And I don't want to be a goblin. I want to be a super goblin. I want to be, like, a swamp goblin. Yeah, we're the staff of Ninja World Sciences. That's where these X come from. We got them from the janitorial closet. 
You have a janitorial closet full of axes? Well, yeah, it's Ninja World. What do you expect? You can't use axes to clean stuff, can't you? Yeah, we use it to scrape the rust off the metal. That's why everything is so shiny. Oh, thank God. Bobby Buddha's Big Time Buddha Palace. Okay, that sounds like a casino. There's nothing says achieving spiritual enlightenment like by uh, gambling away thousands of dollars. The only thing that gets enlightened is your wallet. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty terrible joke. Yeah, that's, that was scraping the bottom of the floor. It's okay, though. This is... Uh... This game is scraping is the, the bottom tick. of the floor. I mean, we're, we're 15 minutes into this stupid thing that should be a probably a half hour at most. Uh, I I guarantee nobody's watching. They've tuned out by the now anyway, so. Instead of a roulette wheel, it's a waterfall. I know I would have tuned out by now. If you're still here, I don't know why. Captive audience? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I, I appreciate it. Yes, we do, very much so. I mean, you got a more you get you got more of a tolerance for this nonsense than I do. Well, I I don't know. I'm playing the game. <laughs> I was gonna say you're the one hitting the buttons. I'm the one who has to make the jokes. And so I far, could I, I could have called this like a long time ago. In fact, I probably should have. We got a bunch of corkers here. All right, go. What do we have here? Another pagoda. Another nameless, useless pagoda with some kanji of. Uh, Neon on the side that I have no idea what it says. It probably says, you fool, you paid for this game. That's the worst of it, too, because I guarantee that this game costs like 60 to 70 dollars when it came out. Oh, easily. And of course people are like, ah, it's the tick, I love this show. You know, yeah. it's it's got funny, irreverent humor and some unique characters. Yeah, and then like... And then they play this and it's, it's sub-LGN quality. And then, like, you're like, hey, mom and dad, this game sucks. And they're like, well, tough luck. You paid <laughs> We're not buying you another one. Nope, you gotta stick with the one you got, or wait till Christmas. And then you get to Christmas, and they actually give you, get you an LGN game that's another licensed property. Like, frickin' Beetlejuice or something. They get you that, uh, oh, Boop. Dennis the Menace, or... Or super widget. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll play the packing game. Columns. These columns, there's some progress. Hey, look, speaking of Christmas, red and green. Uh, everybody's favorite character, uh, Green Ninja. Ah, uh, Green Ninja is my favorite. <sighs> I want his autograph! It's me, Green Ninja. I'm just here for the fans. Oh, I've been defeated. <sighs> hey, what about me, Blue Ninja? It wouldn't be so bad if it didn't take like a million years to beat up all of them. Hi, look at us, we're Black Ninja. Yeah, because it looks like the hit detection isn't the best. Yeah, you gotta be like just right on and. Ow! He stabbed me in the ass. They like to move into your. They like to move into your space where you can't hit them, so and I've they noticed, can't hit you either. I've noticed Red Ninja does that a lot, and then he's like spinny swords. Yeah, it's about the only thing that's kind of effective is he has that move that is an area move, so it kind of hits you. But the rest of them, ah, oh God. And there's. And you think, oh, this they make this do this over and over again to improve. No, it doesn't. You don't improve. You don't get new skills. You don't get new stats. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen him do that. I don't know how I did it, but... It's called the mesh random buttons move. About fucking oh time. Oh, my God. Game over. Oh. No. Oh. oh, I wonder if there's going to be ninjas in this level. Yeah, it looks like a dojo. I see bonsai trees. <sighs> Mercy is for the weak. Yes. Where's Cobra K when you need him? Oh, 
Hi there. Well, you took three out of the thousand that I have to fight this level, I'm certain. It's like, I have one purpose and I need to use it, sir. I have to go back to the sidekick bar. Everybody was calm. Oh, I hate it when they put shit into the foreground like this. Oh, yes, you can't see shit. How do we make this game hard? We'll make it even harder by not being able to see shit. I get that they wanted to kind of give, like, the game depth, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, by messing with your depth perception? I don't fucking think so. Oh, this was my dojo. We got a karate competition going on in 15 minutes. No, no retreat, no surrender. <laughs> oh, please, Ghost to Bruce Lee, make me not such a wiener. <laughs> this is a real movie, by the way, folks. Yeah, was it No Retreat, No, no Surrender? No Retreat, No Surrender. Yeah. We, what, that was the movie at uh, MST3K Live. Oh my god, I forgot how horrible that movie was. Ugh, it was a rough sit. It's funny, because like, a friend of mine, uh, he was there, and I was talking to him, and he was all like, Hey, did you ever see this before, uh, tonight? And I was like, yeah, actually I had. And he's like, yeah, but did you see it when it came out? I was like, well, no. And uh, he had saw it when it came out. He was like nine at the time. Oh. And... Oh no, I got I a free guy? You got a free guy. Ah, and you well, just hey, used it. At least I lost it. Anyways, he was telling me like he saw a previews for it when he was a kid and he was like super excited for it. Cause it looked like Rocky Four meets um Karate Kid. Meets Karate Kid. Rocky Four meets Karate Kid. Uh I'm trying to describe what they said. Rocky Four meets Karate Kid, uh meets a gallon of paint thinner. I think that was the joke, but yeah, it, it's it's bad. The riff tracks of it is pretty good, but definitely watch it with the riff tracks because it is a hard sit without any riffs behind it. Are there montages? There are montages. Are there scenes that don't make any sense? There are don't have scenes where they don't have any sense. Is there? <laughs> Is there, or, uh, is there an obese guy that is a is an antagonist and eats all the time? There yes. is a fact. There is an obese, obese antagonist who's fat and eats all the time. <laughs> is there a scene where the character has to move to a different town? There's part of the conflict. Is there's a scene where the the protagonist has to move to a different town? Yeah, the, there's a scene with a broken leg. There's a scene where the character gets a broken leg. Is there a ghost of Bruce Lee that comes back and doesn't look anything like him just to torture the kid? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. there is. Yes. <laughs> this is the 80s, so the only black character in the movie is into breakdancing and beatboxing. Oh, you know it. Yes. No retreat, no surrender. Get the riff tracks today. Hell, I'd rather watch this movie than sit through more of this shit. Come on, man. Just, yeah, just fall over and flop, okay? Everybody do the flop. Hey, look, I got this painting at a thrift store. Friends, there's no aliens painted on it. Wow. It's a big fucking dojo. What was I thinking? You know, it's funny because I was all like, hey, you know what? There's the tick for Super Nintendo. It's kind of cheap. I'll pick that up. It'll be a great cold play. I can see why this didn't get good reviews. Because, I mean, I, I, honestly, and I'm not yeah. kidding when I say this, folks, I really don't remember anything about this game very much. Um, I remember playing it. I remember it was a beat-em-up. That's all I remember. I think the farthest I got when I played it and this was on the Sega, mind you, yeah, so I, I couldn't even tell you if it's a direct port. Uh, I think I got as far as Chair, uh, Chairface Chippendale. And then I I think I couldn't get past that part. Mm. Yeah, because your patience ran out. Oh, 
Oh no, don't hit me in the face. Oh, you hit me in the face. Hit in the face. Of course, I did way better at the game than my friend did. Hmm. And uh, since I'm pretty certain he doesn't watch these videos, uh, he can't refute that. <laughs> ah, stabbed in the tailbone. Uh, continue? No, don't continue. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm calling it here. We've been doing this an hour. <laughs> we don't even get a cool game over. Oh, okay. I guess I guess that's cool. There we go. There's the most badass part of the game right here. The tick driving this scorpion looking motorcycle, Arthur in the sidecar, and he's riding it barefoot. It's pretty rare that we just have to call the game. I we're calling it. Calling it right I'm, fucking here. I'm just calling it. it it's it's over. If you made it this far, all I have to say is this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. And man, this game sucks. Yeah. Fuck you, Tick. Spoon. Spoon.